Elon Musk has finally revealed the long-anticipated Tesla bot, a prototype of a humanoid Optimus robot that shares some AI software and sensors with its cars' autopilot driver assistance features. What does it look like and what can it do? Stick around until the end of the video as we reveal all this and more. Hello and welcome to Tech Kaiju. Here we discuss the latest tech gadgets and inventions. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell. Also, please give this video a big thumbs up and if you ever have any concerns, questions or opinions about the video, don't be shy, just leave a comment down below. Now let's get into the video. On Friday, September 30th, Tesla CEO Elon Musk unveiled a prototype of its humanoid robot Optimus and he said that the electric car maker would be capable of producing millions and sell them for about $20,000 which is less than a third of the price of a Model Y. Musk also declared that Tesla would be ready to take orders for the robot in 3-5 to five years and highlighted a decade-long effort to develop the product. And this is massive news because it is the most precise vision he has presented to date on a business he has suggested might be bigger than Tesla's EV revenue. Tesla stands out from other manufacturers who have experimented with humanoid robots with its push to design and construct mass market robots that would also be evaluated by performing tasks in its factories. The much anticipated unveiling of prototype robots at Tesla's office in Palo Alto, California was also a part of what Musk describes as an effort to promote Tesla as a pioneer in fields such as artificial intelligence and not merely a company that manufactures cool cars. Tesla unveiled the experimental test robot that it claimed was developed in February. Tesla also played a video of the robot performing simple chores at a production station at the company's California plant, including watering plants, moving boxes and lifting metal bars. But a more streamlined current one had to be rolled out on a platform and gave a slow wave to a crowd, Musk saying that it was closer to what he planned to put into production. Musk called it Optimus and said it would be able to walk in a few weeks. According to Musk, existing humanoid robots lack a brain and the capacity to come up with solutions on their own. In contrast, Tesla's Optimus will be very capable as a robot and Tesla will produce it in millions. Other automakers like Toyota Motor and Honda Motor have created humanoid robot prototypes that are capable of complex tasks like shooting a basketball and production robots from ABB and other manufacturers are a staple of the auto industry. However, Tesla is the only company driving the market for a mass market robot that can be utilized in manufacturing. Tesla designed components including a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack carried in its torso, a chip system and actuators to operate its limbs will be used in this next generation Tesla bot. The robot will be designed to weigh 73 kilograms. Tesla engineers spoke about how they created the robot's features, especially in areas like how the fingers move, with a focus on lowering the cost of production. They were all wearing black t-shirts with a picture of metallic robotic hands, making a heart shape just like Musk. Musk said that by committing to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy, Tesla is changing the parameters of a well-known mission statement that has become a part of its appeal to investors and climate activists. Unlike previous years, the robot was not a human clothed in a robot suit. Instead, at its second annual event, Tesla unveiled a working robot, although one that was a little unsteady and had exposed cables. According to Musk, it was the first time that it was working without any support, cranes, mechanical mechanisms or cables. The demonstration and lecture that followed, during which many Tesla personnel provided what can only be described as a bipedal robotics 101 lesson, had as their goal to demonstrate further advancement. Instead, the event sought to signal Tesla's future direction, boost confidence in its course and hopefully attract the talented needs to advance the program. Musk stated that the first generation prototype, named Bumble C, will eventually evolve into Optimus. This robot will eventually be able to walk efficiently and balance, carry a 20-pound bag, handle tools and have a precision grip for small robots. The Bumble C prototype has a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack which one Tesla employee describes as a perfect one for about a full day's worth of work. 
the necessity for utility for the robot, which will have opposable thumbs to use tools in a human-like manner, was a theme that was frequently brought up by Musk and the other presenters. Regarding the FSD technology, which can be installed on Tesla cars for an additional $15,000, Tesla claimed that owing to the work and blood of the technical team over the last year, around 2,000 customers will test FSD in 2021 and 160,000 in 2022. The team's current objective is to make it possible for cars to drive through parking lots, stop signs and independently decide whether to drive in front of a crossing pedestrian or wait for them to cross so as to not startle them. Tesla did roll out a second bot which did not have the same capability as Bumble C but had a more classic look. This one was a very close to production version of Optimus with its body fully assembled but not fully functional. Staff carried this robot onto the stage because it could not work by itself. They disclosed that the first robot displayed was only developed in the past six months. They spoke about challenges they must overcome to move from a prototype to a functional design and say they want to get this done within the next few months or years. The numerous mentions of and crossovers with Tesla vehicles, particularly its autopilot system, were perhaps the most intriguing part of the Tesla bot roadshow. The company claimed that it is utilizing its energy products and using those parts for the bot, including battery management. The Tesla bot also contains the supercomputer found in Tesla vehicles. Furthermore, Tesla is using the same hardware and software that it uses in autopilot, its advanced driver assistance system for the bot. Additionally, the Tesla robot has wireless connectivity, audio support, and hardware-level security features, all of which, according to the manufacturer, are important to protect both the robot and the humans around the robot. The big looming question is whether or not a bot created by combining all of these efficiencies will function as a scalable robot. Of course, Musk believes it is possible and has already said that he expects the Optimus to cost only $20,000 in the future. Musk said the Tesla bot would start small at the end of the roughly three-hour presentation, which also includes talks about the company's FSD software and Dojo supercomputer development. Musk also already cautioned his followers not to expect the prototype to resemble the glossy black and white depiction first displayed at the event last year. However, there has been no lack of enthusiasm, with Musk describing the robot as the most important product development we're doing this year and claiming that it may eventually become more significant than the vehicle business over time. Experts in robotics have also cautioned against placing too much stock in Musk's promises in the days before AI Day. They have pointed out that other companies are substantially further ahead in terms of making robots that can run, jump and walk, but none of them are claiming to be close to replacing human labor. Tesla's history is riddled with fantastical concepts that never materialized, such as a solar-powered supercharger network, battery swapping, and robot snake-style chargers. So it's anyone's guess whether a production-ready Tesla bot will ever see the light of day. But Musk's determination has pushed the company to where it is today, and the unveiling of a prototype version of the robot would undoubtedly bolster Musk's assertions that Tesla is the world's biggest robotics company. What do you think about the new Optimus bot? Let us know in the comment section.